the Joe Rogan experience. Hey, can I do some like yeah, promotional tell me about activity? Your book. Tell me what it's called. What is it? This book is called Mentors, and mm. I actually, I re- like I read it bits of it again because I knew I was coming here, and How I think it's actually it pretty helped. good. Awesome. Like, I wrote quite a lot about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> you really from, love it, huh? Yeah, I do. My writing is not from a, you'll understand, not from a technical perspective. I'm not saying this is mm-hmm. what I've got to say on open guard right, <laughs> now right, right, right. to transition. I'm talking about how the psychological impact that it's had on me and mm-hmm. also in there about like the protocols of going to a group, which as a beginner are very relevant. Like you touched on how ritualized it is. I've got a hunch that the more we emulate and connect to original ways of human behavior, whether that's dietary or hierarchies or organization of groups, I feel that we will feel a sense of greater connection. Now, the, the thing I got from going in BJJ classes, Genesis, where I go in back in England, is like that all the white belts get changed at one end of the room, the purple belts and above get changed at the other end of the room, which coincidentally or not is where the control for the timer is and the control for the music is and where the kit is. That's all up that room, so end of the room. So all the control is that end. But it begins with sort of dance around in a circle doing all of those various exercises now lift your knees now do the shrimping and that kind of stuff it's that a lower belt shouldn't invite a higher belt to spar or roll you know it's and like the, as you say the amount of respect the bowing the handshaking at mm. the end of it it's so sort of it provides such a safe I- environment in which to deal with the primal i can see why it's valuable and it's the, like you know I should have been taught that shit when I was 14, 13, mm. like as mandatorily, so that I didn't come across it. Like, you know, you're not going to be setting fire to fields and allotments and putting frogs on fireworks if you've got a way of dealing with that primal energy yeah. when, when it's coming. Some when it's people happening. that don't understand that think that you should suppress it somehow. You should just ignore it or suppress it. They don't understand that it, wow. for men, it really, for a biological male, it really needs to be tackled head on. I mean, you really, you really need to... In- embrace what it is to be a physical male and it frees you in a lot of ways do you think this might be a comparable moment to in the 1960s when there was a sort of a sense of sexual repression versus sexual free love you know the images of woodstock and flowers Mm -hmm. in their hair and smoking joints and having sort of sex outdoors (coughs) in mud or possibly wheat that that (laughs) that this time of like a kind of an anger about maleness you know and, and maleness may not as you said it may be a biological male but it could be the energy of i don't know assertion or whatever these like you know as in grammar yeah. male and female relate to certain words as in french grammar where i don't know cat is female and dog is male i don't know the system i don't speak french but i'm saying that these we have labeled these energies 